What, so what measures are you going to take now to um, prevent this from happening again? I don't like to wait for things, I like to make things happen. Half my business career was security. I'm 40 years old. My first 10 years was one of the biggest um, arm response companies and guarding companies in the Western Cape. Um, my sec that, that, that was later sold to ADT. My second half of my business career has been conservation and, and, and wildlife. And let me tell you something, I'm in this fight and I'm in this fight hard. We've got. We're a big company, we're well known internationally, so we'll gather the media support. I'm going to take this fight locally and internationally across borders. I'm going to fight them with a pen and with a sword. We'll fight with weapons and we'll fight with marketing and media. We'll fight any way we can. It'll be controversial, it'll be hard, it'll be... and. Um and, and that's how it'll be. I've got a, I've got a plan that I believe is a, a fourfold plan that I've been working on while busy with vets, while busy with press, while busy with police trying to work the investigation. Honestly, I've got fantastic management. I've got a great management team, and I'm hoping they can carry me because they're not going to see much of me You're in the next. You're going to take this on years. yourself. I'm going to take it on myself, and I'm going to take it national. I'm not finished. Um, part of our, our, our four point four five point team is I want to get a team of vets because this is critical. I don't know why it's not around already. Vets and equipment. Um, you know, I want a rapid response team. This is happening. There's one or two rhinos a day going down. If we can, if we can operate nationally, if we can operate with a team of five vets specializing on rhino, if we can fly in with whatever resources we need, they'll be able to do crime scene management on, on a wounded or live rhino a lot better than the police caught with the stress and stuff once the drugs are in. It's impossible for the police if it's live or thing. All that evidence is lost. So I want veterinary people trained in forensics. I want veterinary people to be specializing in stopping the horn bleeding and, and, and knowing where the where, where the arteries are, where the veins are. I want veterinary people that know exactly the tolerances if they get into the procedure, how much drugs have been put into, these are very dangerous drugs, uh, most of the time they die from this, um, how much drugs, how much antidote, then if you have to dart again, how much drugs, how much antidote, this is thumb stuck stuff for most cats and dogs vets that have never done this before, even most game vets this is a problem facing Africa it's one of the biggest problems facing Africa they are killing, they're going, they are going to you know, there needs to be more urgency. Complete, complete. And, you, complete. and you that urgency, well, absolutely. Urgency that we need, you know. Absolutely. Yeah.